within the geography of your body, there is filth and fragrance. Which one do you open up for yourself and everybody around you? That's a big question. That takes a certain level of awareness and a certain company. This is why satsang, to be in the company of truth, very important. If you go around the ashram, the geography of the ashram, there must be at least eight or ten very filthy tanks. These are called septic tanks, full of septic. If you every day go sit there, of course you'll come to the conclusion Isha Yoga Center is the filthiest place on the planet. If you fall into it, Isha Yoga is the most horrible experience in your life. But you're not supposed to fall into that pit, you're supposed to fall into this pit. <laughs> but you got the geography wrong because you have a wrong history. Your karma is your history, isn't it? Now, we are not talking about different subjects. There's only one subject, that's you. But you can either fall in this pit or that pit. That will be your experience of life. So to fall into the right place, it is a certain talent. You have to grow into it, you have to mature into it. You always know how to be in the right place. In a way, satsang means just that, communion with truth or you are making a building a relationship with truth. If you are in the company of truth, your interiority is pleasant. If your interiority is pleasant, naturally pleasant things come towards you and you will also have a tendency to move towards pleasant things. If you make your interiority unpleasant, you will attract unpleasant things and you will also move towards unpleasant things. But usually this is the tendency. When you are in a bad mood, you will seek five other people who are in a bad mood. No, no, when you are in a bad mood, you must seek five people who are in a good mood, isn't it? No, no, but that's not the way. When you are in a black mood, you will seek five other people who are in the same mood, isn't it? That's just like going to the septic tank for a swim because you're depressed. The wrong way to handle life, that's all. I'm not saying you should not do it. It's just <laughs> not in your favor, that's all. It is just that you have become so self-sufficient, you don't need any enemies anymore in your life. That's a lot of self-sufficiency. So, spiritual process is another thing, to keep physiological cleanliness and psychological cleanliness is the first thing. Otherwise, spirituality will be a battle. It will not be, you know, fragrance of a jasmine upon the spring breeze, no. It will be an uphill task, a battle, all the time a battle. A lot of people experience their life, particularly their spiritual life as a battle because they do not maintain some fundamental discipline about the geography of their body and the geography of their psychological space. If these two things are not managed, everything will be a battle. Now, you happen to claim that you are spiritual, so that will also be a battle. That's how only way life can be. So, satsang means to make friends with truth. Truth is your friend, not falsehood. You start at whichever level of truth you know. You don't have to start at the ultimate truth, you cannot. However you understand truth, you start with that. 
you understand truth as let's say speaking truth, please start with that. You understand truth as being gentle to everything around you, start with that, it doesn't matter where you start. Whichever way you understand truth, you start from that and see how to take a step every day.